outside if we go outside. No, I don't remember that. I probably slipped through it. Because I am Chrono the Airhead. That sounds appropriate for Chrono's character. Oh boy, I can't wait to open this. plays a mysterious song, uh, a cool little sound right there. I also like going up and down the stairs, kind of automatically diagonal walk there. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the box is mysterious. It plays a very mysterious sound, and it has a mysterious crest on it. It's all incredibly mysterious. Um, let's see, this is all actually a tutorial zone.
adventurer or anything like that. We're just going to the fair and enjoying our good time here. Yeah, so that girl actually tells you don't waste your time trying to talk to them. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a tip from this guy. He says the steel runner might try something. That is the night fellow. Um, and we can actually only talk to this guy when the four racers have stopped running. If we tried talking to him while they were running, he would just be like, talk to me later. Um, so that can be confusing, like the first time you're running through here, I'll be like, why can't I? So we want the tip from the old man watching. He suggested Steel Runner. He's not right 100% of the time, but let's try it. So we put in a... <laughs> I'm gonna run with them! It doesn't do anything. You can't interrupt them or change their race or interrupt the outcome. Look at the Steel Runner go! Thanks, old man! Oh, as long as nobody... Oh, look at this! Oh, you won. Thanks, old man. Um, so yeah, we put in a bet for the Steel Runner. He totally... I love that there's a cat here too, just like the cat at Crow's house. Um, so, that's great. He gave me 20 silver points. Um, we want silver points. Oh, I don't wanna... I don't wanna spend them. Parental discretion? This is not that kind of game. What do you say? So this is a hint for something. We're going to encounter one of these listed objects in a moment, and we might be enticed to sell them to this character. I actually didn't know she had that dialogue. This is my first time like paying attention to that dialogue there. So it's this game has really clever foreshadowing. Pretty much every event in the fair here is um, going to hint us about future events. Milkyor is a swordsmith. He has a unique sprite. We're going to remember him. He sells swords, but what do we need a sword for? We're just here at the fair. We're not some sword fighter. He lives on a continent to the east. Um, we traveled to the continent to the south. We did not go to the east. Sorry, this way is east for me. This way is east for you. Um, we did not go to the east. I don't think we can. There's nothing connecting the continents. We'll get there eventually, I'm sure. It's a big deal. So what if we want a war against a wizard? Huh. It was more than hundreds of years. This is the thousand year anniversary of winning against a wizard. I wonder what the dealio is there. Hmm, this looks important. This is the bell that that little girl mentioned. The bell that leads to happy, what'd she say, Ex interesting and happy lives? Do you think that you or I or Chrono or this girl walking around might have a happy or interesting life? Um, well, I can stand in her way and she just paths around me. I don't know what to do. What do we do? We go, oh! Oh. Sorry, girl. Whose name is girl? Oh, we heard her. I'm sorry.